Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. People with money move differently. You know what? Um, this past weekend, from when I'm actually doing this recording, it'll probably uh, debut a couple weeks from when I actually uh, had this. Um, it was a webinar that um, I hosted. Anybody who follows me on my ConnectPal site know I do. I host monthly uh, webinars, usually about relationships, but this one was about um, finances and, um, you know, what to do financially in the upcoming year. And, um, you know, we had the main webinar, and then we have what I call the after show, and then we basically continue what we were talking about, just not recorded. But um, a couple of uh, gentlemen, uh, one the, uh, the presenter in the webinar and then another gentleman, they were talking about how it looks different when somebody actually has money. Like this one gentleman, and um, I'll respect his privacy here, he, he was saying, yeah, you got major cities where it's tough to live even if you're making six figures, but depending on where you're at, uh, many places, particularly in America, Oh, you you big you you the you the man you the big man if you making eighty thousand a year depending on where you at depending on where you at strongly like if you are in D C San Francisco New York psh, that's damn near poverty rate <laughs> that's not even middle class but you you know you with some small town in some states uh, where the cost of living is way lower that's a lot of money but something they said they talked about which I found very profound. And stuff they and I'm they, and I'm giving them credit because they 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 brought it up. They said people with money move differently. Like if somebody's making a lot of money in some places, you can tell. And you know they were saying by the behavior, you know when you and you know and then I thought about it, added some stuff on my own. Like you know you going in a restaurant, you're not even looking at the prices or you're not really you checking out stuff in stores. You're not looking at you ain't really looking at the prices. You can just get it. You just kind of comfortable. Whereas, you know, if you got money, so imagine, and that was just the example of 80000 a year. What if you making, legitimately making six figures or maybe a quarter million? You, I mean, it's depending on where you at, you pretty much, saying six figures is cliche, even though only a small, uh, less than 10% of people actually make that. But imagine if you're making 200000 Think about how you would move in life. You know, because you're not worried about little things. Because let's just be real. Many people, if just the slightest thing, they could have problems. Like if you, if you are uh, a person, like constant, constantly have cut off notices or constantly got to worry about just uh, getting food through the week or if, say, something happens to, like, a, one article of clothing or something, a rip or something, and you're like, oh, wow, you know, it might be time to, you know, it might be hard to get something good in, as a replacement. Or, you know, or say the common thing that's talked about a lot, if there's an emergency, like some car, uh, car accident or something, or any emergency, and you need four hundred dollars. It's been said that half of Americans couldn't afford a four hundred dollar emergency. You know, oh, you're going to be stressed. You're going to be very picky. You're going to be looking at stuff real closely before you buy it. You're going to be comparing prices. You know, you might just be buying like just some food at a grocery store. Shoot, you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at the brands. Whereas someone who's making a lot of money, they move in there, they'll get what they like, even if it's the most expensive thing. They ain't thinking about it. I use myself for an example. Like uh, on the, one of the few occasions I like to cook, you know, I'm, you know, I might make spaghetti and meatballs for my sons, cause they, they, oh, they love spaghetti. <laughs> they, they love spaghetti. And I remember when it was fine, I would cook it for them. And it was financially tight. Man, I, I I find the least expensive spaghetti, the least expensive tomato sauce, and shoot. And I look and I compare that with now, it's like, oh shoot, I'm getting the best tomato sauce. I'm getting a little bit more expensive uh uh spaghetti, shoot, buying like the best meatballs, getting some bread with it, getting some parmesan cheese. <laughs> I'm getting all this extra stuff. It was like, it was shoot, the best way you at a restaurant. 
But it don't even bother me. I don't even think about it. And that that's something. As much as I talk about money management, it's like I can like get some. I don't even have to really be concerned or what it's going to come to. And that's, you know, and, you know, of course, I still pay attention, you know, still keep everything budgeted. But, you know, it's a different thing when you're comfortable. Like, uh, like say, uh, with the car, I was looking at my car tires and I was, I was just casually looking at them. I was like, you know, I'm going to need some new tires in maybe six months to a year, at least a year, uh, because they starting to get, they starting to wear it down and everything. And it actually crossed my mind that, oh, wait a minute. I could just get them today if I like. Honestly, I could. I could just get them today. Like, I could finish recording this, go to some car place, and just get some new tires, some expensive ones and stuff, like a casual thing. But I remember the time I couldn't do it. And I remember the time, shoot. I couldn't. I couldn't just casually get new. I, if a tire went flat, I have to get. I'd have to like get another one, and I, I was. I had to be cheap about it. I didn't just let them put it on. I had to put it. I put it on myself. <laughs> but it was a different move. You you very conscious of what you're doing. But when you have money, you move totally different. You're more comfortable. And one of the things they were talking about, people could even see it. Because seriously, money. You know, money gives you the power to do. It gives you the power. Like, if you know, oh, yeah, I can hit this restaurant or I can buy these clothes, I just have to go do it. It makes a big difference. It makes a major difference. And, you know, it's something to really think about because that's the importance of money. That's why I even do this money management channel. Because what it is is a tool. It's a tool to buy the things that you need. Not to buy expensive things. Now, it's great to get to that point if you need to, but to buy the things that you need to really be at a place of comfort, like just knowing that if there's an emergency or something, you can pay for it. Or if you want to go to something special, you know, you can get some fly clothes or something. You know, whatever the case. But it's just it's just a different thing. You know, and that's part of the reason I, you know, continue to do this channel because... It's very important that people understand that, understand the power of money and the tool of money because it gives you the ability to move in uh, with authority throughout the world. I want you all to think about that, all right? So, y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money.